lot of folks don't even realize that they have a choice to go on what's known as a time of use plan. Right. Or is, is it known in other systems, EV, EV plan. plan. Yes. And the reason why they have this EV plan is specifically for people that own EV cars so that you can charge your vehicles. Because quite frankly, by far, the single most power hungry device in your home will be your EV, okay? I can almost promise you it's going to eat up more power in the month than your whole house, just one of them, okay? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. If you're driving on a routine, regular basis, not for the people that keep their home, their car at home most, most days, but I'm yeah. talking for the people that actually drive. Right, not, not remote workers, but people who drive into work. Right, course, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those folks, I guarantee you, their, their uh, electrical bill on that car is at least as much as the house. Wow. every month so it doubles well and well that's on the flat rate plan on the flat rate right. on, on the flat rate plan it will double right okay so they have what's known as these time of use plans and what this does is give you they reward you for utilizing electricity in off-peak periods so from so instead of paying 17 cents per kilowatt hour flat now they're going to say okay we're going to charge you 18 cents which is actually one penny more mm -hmm. 18 cents per kilowatt hour from the time of 7 in the morning to 11 p.m. at night. But after 11 p.m. at night, that now goes to 9 cents per kilowatt hour. It right. effectively gets chopped almost in, in half. half. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, Georgia Power, I think they call that the time period from like 12 a.m. to uh, super, super off peak. Yeah, super off peak. Yeah. Yeah, they have 7 to 11 is known as off peak. And then they have super off peak from 11 to 7 in the morning. Right. That, that's the way it works. And a lot of power companies are going to have this option, unless it's the, some of the smaller ones I've noticed that do not. But uh, The marketers. So there's going to be some form of that usually available to most folks. And so what would happen is people would charge their cars at night. Right. After 11 p.m., you plug in your car, you set it to charge. And now opposed to paying 17 or 18 cents per kilowatt hour, mm -hmm. and opposed to paying, say, 24 or 25 cents at a supercharger per right. kilowatt hour, you're now paying nine, eight, cents. nine, nine cents per yeah, kilowatt per hour, kilowatt. somewhere in that neighborhood, yeah. uh, which is much nicer. Well, what's also nice is that uh, you could not have an EV, <laughs> use that same, uh, same plan, that time of use plan, and then do all of your larger appliances, like you know, your washing, your drying, your dishwasher, run those overnight as well, right?